What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite plays for today's six game main slate. Today is the 14th of January. Hope everybody's having a great week, man. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new or supporting the channel. I always appreciate the love. Press that bell icon so you always be notified for new videos. Also, check out my, my Twitter at MetalRama. I did give you my value play, which was Jahil Okafor, who went crazy with their usage all right yesterday but let's jump right back into it for today going to point guard you gotta look into luka Doncic in this spot especially on fan or 10,900 great spot for him but you're looking at crazy 12,600 on DraftKings. more likely will fade on DraftKings, but on Fandle, great spot. He's projected already at a 56.2 projection. He went off against them in the last two games, 71, 68 in the last two. Hopefully keep it close here, knowing that D. Russ is playing. So hopefully him and Dre would keep this a close game, but it's also a great pace uh, favor for Dallas in this play. Is at a 98.9 to Golden State's 100.3. Love that play for him. But nonetheless, another great spot here is Trey Young. He will be playing for today. Going against Phoenix is 129, 229 implied total here. And we have the news that Alex Lennon's out, so that gives him more bumping uses. And also with John Collins. Love that stack for today. But it's another great pivot from on DraftKings, knowing that he's 10,200. Almost a 2 thousand discount especially on DraftKings. so you want to pivot from luca to trey i love that play as well now you want to get some more savings i like jay morant uh, going against houston's a 238.5 implied total here going against them he's 7400 but he's 676 on DraftKings. great slot you know he had 38 last game against them don't have to worry about russell westbrook hopefully keep it competitive with harden He's young, man. He's determined. Love this play for them. Uh, no one's going to be a high pace in usage. Check it out. Um, high pace is 103 to Houston's 103.6. So love this play for Morant. Definitely target in this spot against Houston. All right, let's look to our shooting guards. All right, going to the shooting guards, of course, James Harden gets a crazy bump in usage without Russ. We all know that. You know, he's 11,700 on FanDuel, but you're looking at a 1,300 plus on DraftKings. So we're looking about 13,000 on DraftKings. They thinking that he's going to just go berserk or going against Memphis here. He already had a 68 86 75 72 62 in the last five games against memphis and that's understandable so you want to go ahead and plug in that 13,000 on DraftKings, knowing the upside and it's the highest implied total here be my guest i'm not it's one of those things you can't really you can't go off on harden like that man he's a good guy to just set it and forget it type play man he could give you 50 50% usage, man, without Russ, man. So, you already know how he rolled. All right, so let's go to another great play. Um, let's look for some savings here. Uh, let's see. Going for some savings. I do like uh, DeLon right here going against Golden State. Now, nah, he's 4,100 on FanDuel, but he's 46 on DraftKings. He did well against Golden State last time around. He had a 35 phase point game. So, something you could consider. He did have a 49 in the last three games against Golden State. So, it's a guy that could give you a uh, low on, but give you some a high ceiling play. So, love this play knowing that they're 27 against shooting guards. Somebody could definitely consider at this price tag for some upside. Another guy I do is like, I do like Clarkson, but knowing that Mitchell probably going to be uh, playing today. It's going to hinder him getting uh, a high ceiling here. He's 4,800, but he has 56 on DraftKings. More likely going to look at him only if Mitchell is out. So we got to monitor that as well. Of course, you got Lou Williams at 6,300, but he is crazy at 7, 7,500 on DraftKings. More likely not going to look at that play knowing that he's more likely like a 35, 38 in this play he's 37 36 41 in the last three games and knowing that they're looking at an almost 15 point favor here hopefully he gets some more run in the half in the second half but we just gotta look into that but there's somebody you could look into but it's, it's tough it's a tough call knowing that cleveland's on the second game back to back and a, already a potential 15 point favor that's already projected all right all right, let's look into our next play, going to our small forwards. All right, small forwards. You can look at Kelly Oubre, y'all. 7,200, but he is 79 on DraftKings. Still love this play. All right, it's going to be a battle. 
All right, Zay, 26 against small forwards as well. He's doing great, so I like this play for him. He had that 57 last game. He had 47 last game against ATL as well, so he shows upside when he's on a roll, and I hope he keeps his flame rolling in this play against ATL, which is garbage overall in defense, and he can take over in this game. All right, another guy I can look into for some savings is Joe Ingles at 5,400 on FanDuel, but he has 61 on DraftKings. Somebody I'm more likely going to see as a, as a cash play on DraftKings, but FanDuel at 5,400, knowing that he could give you good upside here. He's in a tough position against Brooklyn, but knowing that I think Temple's out, um, it's going to hopefully help him out on, on the defense side, but he's one of those guys you can look into to know that he can give you some potential upside especially this price tag on FanDuel all right but looking for some more plays of course you got Eric Gordon but you know where is a whole situation with Eric Gordon and Daniel House you know I like Daniel House if he starts but you know knowing that he had a 37 last game against Memphis you know but Eric Gordon somebody you could look into hopefully he could give you run at 20 25 he did have 25 last time against Memphis so it's tough to just plug in Eric Gordon but he could give you upside. Hopefully, he could just ball out, especially at this high implied total. Somebody else, somebody else has to ball, ball out. So, hopefully, Eric Gordon will just kick in the gear, and man, and help you get some good upside here against Memphis. All right, let's look into our next play at Power Forwards. All right, going to Power Forwards. Let's see, get for some savings. All right, I like Omari Spellman at 4,600, but he has 55 on DraftKings. He had 28, 35, 21, 28, 20, 45 in the last five games. Going against Dallas, their middle type defense at 16th against the position, but this guy has potential upside here at 4,600. I can see him give you around 25, 30 fantasy point game. He's just been doing well. He's 222.5 implied total here, averaging around 20% in usage, getting around 1.06 phase points per minute on the court. Somebody you could look into. Another guy I like is Dario Sarge. All right, knowing that uh, Kaminsky's out and we have, let's see who else on Phoenix is out. Um... Rubio's out gives him a bumping usage. They're 27 against the position. So I like Sarge here at this low end price at 37 on both DraftKings and FanDuel to hopefully bounce back and give some great upside here. So yes, yeah, you see he had 33 last time against ATL. 22 in the last two games against them so at this price tag he can give you easy eight to nine times value in this spot here so hopefully Sarge will kick in gear you knowing he's an expected starter at the power forward position for tonight all right let's look into our last play at centers of course you have Rudy Gobert you got DeAndre Ayton I like Clint Capella here all right, going against Memphis, he's 7,900, 78 on DraftKings. He's looking at a projected 39.9 projection, five-time value play. Knowing that without Russ, is always a connection with him and um, him and uh, James Harden. You know, he had 32, 30 in the last two games against Memphis, but hopefully it's a bumping usage without Russ. Um, in this slot for today. I like Jonas Valachunas as well. Going against Houston, they're going to need him to do some work, especially in the paint, dealing with Capella. And we'll see what's up what's up with this play, especially with Jay Crowder. He's questionable so far, so we got to check into the status with Crowder, if he's going to play or not, but it gives a bump in usage for Valachunas and also for Jaron Jackson as well. So somebody can consider Valachunas here. As you can see, he did have a 29, but he had a 48 last time against Houston. Shows upside when he gets in the, gets in the uh, groove of things. So love that play. Another guy you can look into, of course, is Aaron Baines going against ATL. 4,300, but he has 47 on DraftKings. Another great play for him as he's going to be the starter in this play for today. He gives you some good upside here. 20th against opposing centers, and he gives you 1.02 fade points per minute. So once he gets some minutes on the court, he can do work here. He's only he's already averaging 24% in 24 minutes a game, but 21% usage on the court. All right, another guy is a low pivot game. I like his 
a Zubac, man. Zubac is a he's expected starter going against Cleveland. All right, he's only 4,200, but he's 41 on DraftKings. I just like this play for him if he's starting. So he's a, a, a great pivot from Harrow, especially with Paul George out. Even though he gets around 18% usage, he gives you still around the same amount of fantasy points as Harrell with this price tag at 42 and 4,100 on DraftKings. I can see him give you a 30, 35 implied. Uh, 30-35 face point game, man. I'm looking at this game. Love him in this play, y'all. So, once he get the minutes, he could do work. I mean, let's check out his scoring. Let's see. You know, he had, he had 34 against the Jazz with 27 minutes. He had 24 against the Kings. He did have a 40 face point game against... Um, against Portland. I think that was in November. But he only had 22 minutes that game. So somebody could consider here. He had 30 against the Bucks, 24 minutes. So it's a guy I like, especially if he's a, a starter, which they're expecting him to start in this game. He could do work here. All right, so I love this play for Zubac uh, as my pivot from Harrell. Uh, for tonight, y'all. So these are my plays. You like the plays? Give a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lines? Comment below. Also check me out on my Twitter at Melorama. It's in my link in my description. But if you want access to my player pool? Check out the draft dashboard tools in the link in my description. Click on the link and sign up. You'll get access to my player pool. Also, you get access to the NBA cheat sheet. Um, get access to your sleepers and your studs click also on your watch players you get access to my plays as you can see up top watch Mills DFS picks button up top for either DraftKings or FanDuel and we have also included in the lineup optimizer your selection for either GPP or cash lineups y'all is these tools are just constantly upgrading and giving you better chances to, to cash and do great y'all so I love y'all it's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed and I'll see y'all in the next video.